A Lake City man is suing the Columbia County Sheriff's Office after he was attacked by a police dog during a traffic stop. Action News Jack's Jake Stofan talked with the man about what happened. Dash cam video shows from start to finish the pursuit lasted just over a minute with Martinez signaling his turns and driving at a low rate of speed. Once he came to a stop in his mother's driveway, deputies immediately drew their firearms and began instructing him to put his hands outside the vehicle and step out. Stop! Martinez continually asked for reassurance he would not be shot. Stop! Once outside, deputies instructed him to turn his back to them. Seconds later, the canine was tearing in his right leg. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Martinez showed us the narrow road he drove down when deputies turned on their siren. I was more scared of my mom than the police. <laughs> he says it was his mom's car he was driving, and he was just trying to get to a well-lit place where it was safe to stop the car. The images of George Floyd's murder were front of mind. I didn't know how it was going to go, which way it was going to go. When he felt the dog grab his leg, he was in disbelief. Initially, I didn't feel it. I'm just screaming, get your dog, get your dog. The pain hit full force once he got to the hospital. These photos, which have been blurred due to their graphic nature, show the extent of his injuries. After four surgeries, including skin grafts, he racked up hundreds of thousands of dollars in medical bills. Now, two years later, the open wounds have scarred over, but the pain persists. So much so, it's closed the doors on some of his dreams and aspirations. I was a basketball addict. I wanted to do basketball, but now I can't. I see I really can't do basketball. I definitely got to figure out something else. I wouldn't mind, like, school. Martinez is now suing the sheriff's department for damages. He told us he has no doubts. Deputies had no valid reason to use that level of force, considering the traffic stop was for his taillights being out. As financially, I feel like you said... Like, I can't take care of those hospital bills. <laughs> I can't take care of those hospital bills. And as far as the justice, like, I always get treated wrong, you know, as far as by cops. Action News Jack's law and safety expert Dale Carson says ultimately a jury will decide whether officers were wrong, but it will be a tough case to make. But when someone fails to be compliant, meaning stop rather immediately after you've instituted your stopping protocol, lights and siren, then there's a potential problem from the law enforcement officer's perspective. For local coverage you can count on, I'm Jake Stofan, Action News Jack.